Hi, I'm Christophe Langlois and you're on Visible Banking. I've just come back from an event organized by the Financial Services Forum in partnership with LinkedIn in London, so we're the 5th of September 2012. The event was on social media and financial services and the name of the event was the New Balance of Power. Um, basically, it lasted a few hours, so in London, uh, we had a great group of, in the audience, so of financial services professionals, roughly 60, so 60. And basically, Andrew presented the Financial Services Forum, then James, uh, who is the head of the finance category um, for LinkedIn in the UK, uh, talked about LinkedIn, uh, its strategy, uh, its goals, and how LinkedIn can help financial institutions. And then there was a fascinating uh, discussion panel and James and Andrew invited me to chair that panel. I started my presentation or my, uh, my chairing session with uh, the very controversial sentence which is banks cannot do social media. So I got people's attention there, yeah? It's called the new balance of power and I'm starting with the, that sentence. Basically it's based on the last five years where I've championed and I've curated financial um, innovation and social media news and initiatives in the financial services industry worldwide. Today, I still have the same conversations as I had like five years ago. To that extent, I say that banks can't do social media. Uh, social media shouldn't be just um, linked or you know, talking about brand and PR, okay? But social media touch potentially every single part of your organization. It's social media, but it's also social business, the way we work together, employees work together, you break the silos, okay? You're a smarter, more collaborative organization, okay? And then the social customer. One of my favorite topics is crowdsourcing and voice of the customer programs. I thought we would have a bit of, of time to focus on that topic. But considering the short amount of time we had, we had roughly an hour and 15 minutes for my presentation and um, our conversation there. Uh, I couldn't do that, yeah. So it went very well. Uh, we had four great speakers. So well done again to James and uh, Andrew for putting together a very strong panel. In no particular order, we had Nathan McGill with an interim digital and social media consultant at Lloyd's Banking Group, especially in the commercial banking part of the bank, okay? And basically, um, just uh, I give you a quick, quick, short summary of what Nathan covered uh, on behalf of uh, Lloyd's Banking Group. He talked about so the B2B aspect of social media. Um, he talked us through their initiative on LinkedIn, via LinkedIn Group, which was already quite successful and promising. We and uh, Nathan talked about amplifying existing events, existing initiatives using social media, and talked a bit about governance and outreach, okay? Where is it that you want to build relationships, to join conversations outside your own assets and outside your own social media assets, right? So he mentioned, for instance, a partnership with The Guardian in the UK. Then you have Kevin Trainer the Vice President Digital Marketing EMEA at BlackRock and iShares. Um, I've known Kevin for a little bit of time now. Uh, we spoke at a, a few conferences together in the UK. And basically, um, Kevin talked about their goals of BlackRock to prove the value to the business, so internal hurdles, and how to convince there's a value uh, interacting in social media, prove it's manageable as well to do so. Um, he talked us through Facebook, so one of their initiatives for training especially younger um, risk professionals, okay? He talked about interacting on existing communities, specialized, like a pension a community in the UK. And basically the next steps for BlackRock, which is to expand that to EMEA, his remit, by the way, yeah? Their best practice model is the US blog, FiShare, uh, which basically uh, won some awards. And, uh, and he talked about also the importance of partnering with social media channels, players like LinkedIn, again via group for instance, Facebook, um, via Insights as well, and all the other ones like Twitter. Robert Wint, then head of marketing, digital marketing at Barclays Bank, talked in particular 
about the customer care, social customer care via Twitter initiative, launched uh, back in November 2011. Initially it was just a pilot for three months. Ten months later it's still there and more than that, now they're going to scale it. So basically, uh, in the next couple of days, it will become even more official and they will put more emphasis on that. Yeah? So it shows how long it takes to get the commitment internally and to demonstrate it's possible, to reassure people. Yeah? So now they reach a tipping point and uh, they will start again to advertise it. Yeah? Carl then Barkey is the head of social media customer engagement at American Express. Uh, it's a fascinating case study. I love American Express, you know that on visible banking. It's quite a different animal in the financial services space, to some extent that their business strategy and social in that case is are aligned. Both strategies are totally aligned. Um, they smartly use social media to drive business, okay, uh, to create revenue for their merchants, but also for their card members, card holders. So it's a beautiful example. For instance, um, the Twitter Sync initiative, which consists of removing the friction and urging Twitter user, Facebook user, Foursquare users, right, to connect and to sync their card to their accounts. And the more they talk about specific uh, um, initiatives and specific discounts at merchants, okay, the more actually they can benefit from rewards uh, and everything is frictionless to some extent that there's not even any voucher uh, issued. Everything is cleared um, uh, on their statements. Right? So it's totally electronic, totally seamless, very easy, no friction, and that's why it's working so well. Yeah. So American Express, again, a uh, different animal there. Um, Carl is in charge of 21 markets, um, and he talked briefly about Open Forum. The B2B community opened in 2007, talked about customer support and the importance of driving the membership effect, as he said, yeah. So brands can do social media. What we did, uh, we had a brainstorming session that I, I was really keen to deliver. Ten minutes initially with the audience was really well received. Um, it broke the ice and people started talking and sharing between each other and ident identifying their key priorities there, yeah. So we couldn't cover everything. We didn't talk about crowdsourcing, for instance, voice of the customer too much, uh, which are a very important topic. But we still cover a lot, yeah. Hopefully that was one of the best experiences in the social media event space, yeah. Um, banking, so what's the next, what's the future? Being better, uh, scale, all those initiatives, basically, and getting more commitment internally, uh, in particular from compliance, legal, because usually the senior managers are convinced already. So that was Christophe Langlois from Visible Banking in London, UK.